Hello, hello, more Dimers here and welcome back to the Speed Chess Championship. Yesterday I show you the game where Alireza Firuzia, who had four minutes on the clock, had to win two bullet games against Vladimir Fedosyev if he wanted to have the, the chances uh, to continue the game because he was uh, down two points and only four minutes on the clock and actually I show you the thriller, real thriller. Fedosyev attack, uh, he actually got the winning position and he missed that and at the end uh, he just blundered the queen and lost that game and he also um, lost another game this is why uh, today I would like to show you the game which I promised um, decisive game so who's gonna um, advance to the quarterfinal uh, four games mini match uh, one minute um, time control and one second incrementation that's a bullet again and Fedosyev actually won the second game first game ended in a draw then Fedosyev won with the black pieces uh, Alireza Firuzia with black pieces equalized so a lot a lot of emotions and now we have the last game so whoever win this game and this game is decisive uh, if not then we would have Armageddon but I'm telling you this game is decisive so whoever win this game advance to the quarter final so without further ado let's see what happened on the board Alireza Firuzia open with knight f3 very flexible we have knight f6 we have g3 so uh, king's indian attack d5 bishop g2 and now c6 very solid move of course we have the castle bishop f5 c4 undermining the center and now e6 so we can say that Fedosyev play very very solid chess it's kind of a london system but with the black pieces so black has tempo less however this is very a uh, solid structure of course this pawn the bishop is already outside of the box uh, of the chain of the pawns uh, so you know principles of the openings no surprise very solid opening we have queen b3 in this uh, in this position and now queen b6 asking to exchange the queens however in this position just for your information usually both of the sides wait with the queens because if the queen is exchanged black gonna have the open file for the for the rook and the same if the black exchange white gonna have this open a file uh, so this is why we have d3 knight b to d7 pretty standard stuff and now uh, we have couple of games in this in the database where the bishop e3 was played um, however it's uh, end with the bishop c5 um, and then after exchanging the knight jumping to c5 and um, queen c3 and the game of course can continue however and um, not everyone wants to uh, you know um, let black to already jump to the c5 uh, of course b4 is, is, is possible here uh, however it's uh, not convenient for example for Alireza Firuzia this is why uh, he moved the queen so we have queen c2 d takes on c4 queen takes on c4 and now queen c5 uh, still asking to, to exchange the queens we have queen b3 queen b6 and now queen c2 uh, we have bishop e7 knight c3 we have castle bishop e3 attacking the queen queen c7 rook a to c1 a6 a3 rook a to c8 rook f to d1 uh, h6 queen b3 uh, and we can say that both of the sides end development so look at this all the pieces minor pieces are developed and um, the rooks uh, black could bring the rook to the center uh, but overall um, this is the end of the opening and here black actually went for very interesting idea e5 slightly weakening um, this uh, diagonal however the bishop always can go to the to the e6 and kick the kick the queen from there so there is completely no problem and here is the critical moment of the game because alireza firuzia with white pieces has to react correctly and the best move in the position here actually is d4 asking this pawn what you're gonna do uh, you cannot just you know push the pawn because you're gonna lose it 
three pieces attack the the pawn and black cannot defend only with the sorry about the these two pieces i uh, can defend so that's not enough uh, also e takes on d4 works in the favor of whites there is completely no problem knight d4 attacking the um, the bishop so bishop h7 bishop f4 kicking the queen and as you see white controls the center very comfortable um gameplay for for white and uh, finally black probably would go for bishop e6 because this move uh, e5 was made just making a space for the bishop so bishop e6 was also possible and after queen c2 uh, just remaneuver the, the rooks to the center probably and continue the game will with still these pawns in the center with the tension so in some moment uh, one of the sides will exchange the pawns um but as you see um the game is completely equal so this what probably would happen uh, if we have in the game however alireza firuja went for knight h4 and threatening to take the bishop uh, and this is the and this is quite a mistake now why is that that mistake because the bishop doesn't need to actually move um you know lose the tempo because because bishop e6 is winning the tempo on the on the queen queen c2 and now this knight can jump to g4 and here is the problem first the knight is under attack so uh, if it's gonna be exchanged then white gonna have completely uh, mess up the pawn structure that's the first thing uh, and also the best move in the position recommended by the engine is knight f3 so indeed knight f3 but it's not that great because after knight e3 f takes on e3 there is the move queen b6 queen b6 first idea very dangerous skewer uh so uh, winning at least the exchange that is the first thing and the second thing attacking them the e3 and it looks like okay uh the queen can come and defend that and there is no more skewer however it doesn't work because knight c5 knight gonna jump to the b3 and white cannot do anything about that can move the rook um the problem is the knight also um gonna gonna jump over there anyway and the queen is under attack and the queen cannot move um to actually defend that Pawn, okay queen c2 uh, and look at the position a uh, queen and the knight completely paralyzed the position of the of the white pieces and white pieces cannot do much about that and uh, very very difficult to play position uh, for for white and this is the best what could happen actually for white so you imagine uh, alireza firuja didn't want to uh, actually make a weakness in the center so he played bishop d2 uh, but there is the huge problem about that because first bishop h4 so messing up the pawn structure and then queen b6 we know already that move so uh, that is the first threat and another threat would be actually attack together with the knight on f2 but there was even stronger move in this position uh Fedosev could go for e4 very simple idea taking h2 um, and the problem is if this if this pawn is is moved and then of course the knight have to retreat but first the queen can penetrate the position of white and after king f1 only then uh, move the move the knight and as you see black has a very nice position for example um, h3 is under attack uh, so what white can do e3 maybe make some space for the king because it's gonna be hot over here so bishop h3 bishop h3 uh, queen h3 and after king queen h1 let's say um queen f3 king e1 uh e takes on d3 and then bring another pieces to the game start from the from the knight um queen e2 uh, and then of course watch at this knight gonna jump to f3 this position is is just bad it's, it's just completely losing position so e4 was the way to go however queen b6 also is a very very strong move and now alireza had to find the move very logical move oh, look at this rook f1 avoiding the skewer this is the first thing and defending f2 so this is the way to go of course the queen uh probably would try to go maybe maybe this way to attack h2 however after h h3 knight g to f6 and this knight actually blocking the queen so the queen cannot enter the game and um, yes black stands better this position of this pawns uh the position of the king is a is a really shaky uh, however black still have to prove something and remember this is bullet one minute and one second incrementation so everything can happen 
However, uh, Alireza went for bishop e1, defending f2 this way, uh, and allow actually uh, to play bishop b3. We have queen d2, bishop d1, rook d1, and now f5. So Fiduciev want to simply uh, storm the position of the of the white king. We have queen c2, uh, king h8, uh, and now knight a4, harassing the queen. And Fiduciev stayed with the queen because he wanted to stay on this diagonal uh, and keep this bishop on e1 and if the bishop is moved and then maybe strike at that time uh, however uh, he started to think where to move the queen he went to d8 obviously uh, he want to go for h4 and here again this was the last moment where Ali Reza could go for h3 uh, and if the knight retreat the position of course is even better than I show you the last position uh, for black uh, but again still have to prove something you know how to continue this game but alireza completely ignored this attack on the on the h4 uh, and he played bishop before now why did he ignore that because after queen h4 we which uh, vladimir fiduciev played actually look at this yes h2 is under attack yes f2 is under attack however there is this bishop great defender of the king so the queen and the and the knight cannot do anything cannot checkmate because of this bishop very beautiful placed um, piece so this is um, why he did we have e3 now defending f2 however at the same time weakening the the structure of the of the pawn so definitely f4 is uh, is gonna be one of the of the moves in the future we have queen h2 king f1 and now f4 attacking uh, and now what to play as white the first threat of course if is f takes on e3 um, and then the rook gonna jump to the to the f2 and e this game over okay queen queen g2 and so on uh, if white decide to play something like e4 then we have f3 and you're gonna lose this bishop uh, for example bishop f5 f takes on g2 king e2 uh, and we're gonna have another queen and after rook g1, queen f2, and I hope you see that already, this would be the checkmate. So uh, bishop f8 doesn't work, king e1 running immediately also doesn't work, uh, same reason, f takes on g2, king d2, now rook can jump actually to the game um, and win the queen, and then at the end uh, we're gonna have another queen with check, so two queens, white doesn't have even one so definitely is winning a couple of moves it's gonna be the the checkmate and finally bishop f3 is a little bit more fancy but it's still of course winning for black rook f3 uh, and this this pawn is attacked already a couple of times and there is also um the knight e3 very very serious threat you cannot defend all of that if you defend for example the pawn uh, you don't even need to you know win the win the queen because rook e3 wins immediately and queen h1 there is the checkmate in the in the next move and if white actually decide to take the uh, the rook then no black not gonna win the queen but rather deliver a checkmate that would be the very very beautiful checkmate so e4 is not playable e4 is just simply not playable uh, this is why we have bishop f8 immediately rook f8 uh, e takes on f4 and here fiduciev could take with the pawn but now rook f4 much stronger move and in this position alireza firuzia resign and alireza resign and he resign uh because we're gonna have this this move and uh, it's you cannot you cannot just stop it if you start to run with the king king e1 so there is no fork and then we're gonna have queen g1 uh let's say bishop f1 now rook f2 uh, and this gonna be the checkmate so not much can be done here uh, of course if the queen takes we're gonna have a checkmate if the queen go to e2 this is the uh prolonging move uh, one move extra but it doesn't really matter because after rook e2 look at this boom this way of checkmate as this pawn and um, and the rook blocks the the escaping uh squares for the for the king so that would be the the checkmate also and finally if rook e1 is played or queen d d2 queen e2 doesn't really matter just to control them the e3 uh, there is still one style of winning rook f2 with the check with the attack on the queen and after exchanging 
black at the end in all of this variation have queen h4 attacking the the knight together with the check so uh, that would be of course winning with the queen against the rook um, definitely is winning this is why after rook f4 alireza firuzia just resign and i would like to show you the the standing so far so uh, we already seen the games of magnus carlsen maxim vasil lagraf and vladimir fedosyev I, I show you two games because that was a thriller so so that's why i i, I choose to show you uh, two games so um, I hope you like it and if you like it of course press a like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss other games from Speed Chess Championship press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one.